Stretches are more a little bit more tricky. Vertical stretch, if your function g is a, a number a times f of x, that means g is the graph of f stretched vertically by a. How do you stretch by a? You think of multiplication. You multiply your y values by a. What happens if a is less than zero? This is going to have what's called a vertical reflection. What is vertical reflection? So instead of just taking things and stretching them, it's going to take them, it could stretch, but it's also going to flip over the x-axis. So that's what a vertical reflection does. Horizontal happens next to the x, f of b times x, and you're going to stretch horizontally. Now it looks like you should stretch by b, but it's always the opposite. That doesn't mean negative b. This is multiplication, so it's the opposite of multiplying by b is either dividing by b or multiplying by the reciprocal of b. So this is how the stretch affects uh, horizontal. It is a multiplication of all your x-coordinates by 1 over b. So you're going to multiply your x-coordinates by 1 over b. What happens if b is negative? Then you're going to take your, all your x-coordinates, you're going to make them negative. So it's going to be a vertical, uh, or well, I should say this would be a vertical reflection. This one up here would be a horizontal reflection. And you'll notice b should never be 0. So what happens if b is 0? Then you're just taking 0. You're just having f of 0. So that's pretty boring. b won't be 0.